If you are a DJ that wonders how the hell are you going to get your foot in the door with promoters, festivals, bookers, talent buyers, if you, you're seeing festivals or clubs that you want to play and you, you don't really know how to find out who the people are that you should speak to and even if you did find out who they are and how to get in contact with them, how do you get your foot in the door, nurture a relationship and actually turn that into a working relationship where they want to book you. Um, there's a system that we use. In this video, I'm going to run you through that system. I'm going to show you actually the back end of how we do it. And I'll walk you very quickly through the case study for one of my uh, clients, how we, how we found, we, we dug deep into a festival, how we found the person that they need to speak to, and kind of ran through how they would pitch them. This was a snippet taken from a coaching call during lockdowns. Uh, so excuse any dodgy haircuts or any dodgy beards. This was the $2,000 program, but we've moved on from that now. So I want to release the content, stick it on YouTube so you can benefit and you can go out and start building relationships with bookers and talent buyers and book the gigs that you really want to book. So the training is ready to go. It's 100% free. Enjoy. I hope you get value from it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and uh, all that good stuff. Let's go. Cheers. For those that are just joining us tonight, Last week, we looked at a system of um, basically nurturing promoters. So once we find our dream 100, the 100 clubs, events, festivals, both locally, internationally, and those dream landmark gigs that we, uh, w w would change your career. Once we've got all of those into one list, we start to nurture them. Um, and we, we move them through a process um, where we do our research on them, find out who runs the event. We make sure all of those people are on our socials and we're interacting with them on a daily basis. We get them into our marketing world so they're seeing all of our posts. And then we begin outreach um, and make initial contact with those promoters. After a while, we make an offer to begin working with that promoter in whatever nature possible. Um, and after a while, we'll either be working with them um, on some level, and, and that can mean a lot of things. That can mean simply we're, we're assisting them with promo. We are, there, there, there's lots of ways of working with them, and you'll see that in the modules. And then finally, we jump to book. So this is a slow, steady process that you push all of your dream gigs through over a length of time. And you only need to be booking one, two, three, four, five of these um gigs a year to really be changing your career so what i want to do is just run over very quickly guys for the guys that put this together last week where are the sticking points is there, is there any is there any bits of this that you're unsure of when it comes to you don't know what to offer promoters or you don't know what the first contact is is there any other steps here that anybody's stuck on Have a little look. Everybody looks like they're they're clued up. Nobody seems to be typing there, is. Yes. No, are we are we all good? Everybody don't know what to offer. Mike, uh, for a copy of the template, it doesn't really. Um, if you watch the module that I uploaded this week, it doesn't really import great. So I've just shown you in the video exactly how to build out this exact pipeline. Okay, uh, Josh, can you unmute for a second? You don't know what to offer the promoters when they uh, aren't releasing music. Yeah, like, um, for instance, a festival. Festival, yep. um, like the, the, or the bookings agent or the promoter um, is only getting the acts and, like, the DJs. How would you... Um, what, what would you offer to them if you... Um, if, it, if it's, like, a really big... Uh, awakenings if we talk big but I'll tell you the best thing to do can you give me uh, an example of uh, an event that you're looking at and let's let's hash out together how we would attack that that promoter yeah um mystic garden festival is a festival i really love and it's like it would be like uh, perfect for us okay uh, mystic garden where are they based It's uh, mystic with uh, um, with a C at the end. Sorry. 
Let's stick M-Y-S. with a C. Let's stick An garden. M-Y? M-Y. I. Let's stick garden. Ah, there we go. So which one are you looking at? This one? 2021? For the festival. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where is that based in relation to where you are? In my hometown. Ah, it's in your hometown. Okay, perfect. So it's in Amsterdam. Yeah, okay, perfect. So some of the options that we ran through the the festival stage or the or the activation, is that something you would consider? Um yeah, um, festival stage would be uh, something I consider because uh, together with some friends, we're planning to do uh, club nights. Yeah. Um, but also to be on the lineup myself, that would be uh, amazing. Yeah, of course. So like what, what I would say to anybody, um, anybody that has the get up and go to try the festival stage um, strategy that we looked at last week, That's the number one way of getting into a festival, especially a local festival, because as I said to you last week, I mean, when we do LRO, any of the LROs, the number one thing that they care about is getting local acts onto onto our stages because it's the local acts that have the the grassroots following. So if you and a couple of local DJs are looking at setting up your own club night, if you were to promote Mystic with a stage, um, similar to what we talked about last week, a small little side stage, um. Each of you will promote the event and you can ask for a small budget or you can ask for an allocation of tickets in which you get to keep the revenue from the tickets. Yeah. Um, I the, think that's your... festivals in September, would they still be um, planning those things? The Is beautiful it's... thing about you bringing the stages, you're doing the planning. So mm-hmm. absolutely, 100%. And um, now is the time. Um, on that one in particular, I wouldn't even do the nurture stage. I would just hit them up. Um I, w- I would say in the first email, I would just say, hey, I uh, hope, hope you're well. Introduce yourself one or two sentences and just say, um, who, who would you even pitch on that one? Just ask, say, pitch the idea to them in, in sort of one or two lines. And um, mm-hmm. what I would do is hop onto LinkedIn, go into Mystic Festival and find out who are the staff there and find somebody. Yeah, I couldn't find any for them. That was Mystic, the shittiest part. Do you yeah. want to hash that out now quickly? Because it's nice to have a case study and just um, for people to see how you would do this in... in uh... Sure, if everybody so, wants it. Okay, so if we... Uh, yeah, I think it's it's good for people to see exactly how we hash it out. So if I grab the... If I grab the domain and do what we discussed in Hunter, I'll stick that in. So we've got an email. Okay, so it's an info at email, which isn't giving us much details. Um, we can look on Facebook... How, how many years has this festival run? Um, like five. I okay, guess. so it's an established event. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. And they're part of Dockyard, uh, Dockyard, but that's the sister organization. Ah, perfect. Okay, so that helps us. Dockyard Festival in Amsterdam. Dockyard. Yeah, doc- <laughs> <laughs> what a typo. Uh, Dockyard Festival, Amsterdam. So that'll give us some more. What we're basically looking for here is we're looking for the promotions company behind it. Um, A lot of the time you'll get that in the footer or you'll get that in the the terms and conditions about Dockyard. Uh, After the first editions. No, contact information. We'll try Doc. Let's hop into LinkedIn and see if we can find anyone for Dockyard Festival or for Mystic. So we look Dockyard Fest again, Dickyard. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, Dockyard Festival. We know what you're normally searching for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we can see here is if we look, uh, this guy, Swen, he's not working there now, but you can see in the past, he was the marketing manager at Mystic Garden and uh, Dockyard Festival. Tanya looks to have something to do with it at the minute. So let's hop in. Yeah, so here we go. Tanya Davidson, she is the owner of Fall Productions Dockyard Events. So it looks like she's the, she's the owner. So because we have um, all these extensions, 
mm -hmm. installed that we looked at the week before last. We can just show contact. And there we go. We've got her email and we've got her mobile number. For the new guys uh, wondering how, we, uh, how, how we're doing this, it's all in the, the previous module. So don't worry, we won't be left out. So you've got her contact details there. You know that the the uh, the promotions company is called fall.nl. So you can go back into Hunter, fall.nl. And it's just Tanya again. I would hit Tanya up. Um, and don't pitch in the very first email ever. So no matter what the first email is, just anything that gets a response. So you just want to pitch her and say, hey, Tanya, I uh, hope you're well. I uh, wanted to pitch something for, or I wanted to send, send something, or I wanted to make an offer, whatever way you word it in your own words. Uh, are you the right contact for Dockyard Festival? Or are you the right contact for Mystic Festival? And, and nice, if I was to word it and I wanted a response, I would mail her and say, hey, Tanya, I have something I want to send you over for Mystic Festival. Are you the right contact? And why that works is because you could be sending her over anything. You know, it's 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 just it could be a gift. It could be it could be free promo. It could be anything. You're not looking for something. I have something to send you for Mystic. Are you the right contact? And usually she'll just come back and go, yeah, that's me. And now you send her the uh, the information. Keep it very, very short, two paragraphs. Um, and you just pitch it. We want to do a little pop-up stage. We'll supply the stage. You supply the sound. And you want to make it very heavy on the fact that it's me and a load of other DJs from the area, and we'll promote the hell out of it. Um, I can do a little pitch script for you if you want and stick it in the group so others can use it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. No worries. I think that is your best. Uh, that is your best chance of a uh, a result there, and it's also the result you want because if you're launching a cl clubbing brand or a label, you also get to have artwork for your own stage at this big event. It looks great, and you can use that to leverage into other clubs and work with other promoters off the back of that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you've made it this far, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe so you can get all the, the future content and let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. But more importantly, if you're a DJ that wants to get more bookings, if you want to lock in better clubs, better festivals and more of them, I want to give you the system that we use to do this with DJs. I want to give you the full blueprint uh, all of the training to run you through it and any of the, the tools and, uh, and templates that you need. There's a link in the description down below where you can go and get it now for free. Uh, go help yourself. Let me help you. Let's get you booked together. The link is below. Uh, did I mention like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.